Hello friends, today I'm going to teach you about ASUS Color Managed Workflow and how to set up your project in Davin's Resort for a ASUS Color Managed Workflow. ASUS stands for Academic Color Encoding System. ASUS began by the same group that the Academy that bought you the Oscars as a way to create a consistent way for companies across the motion picture industry to deal with the colors. The easiest way to think about ASUS is, is to sort of break it down into two different categories that is ASUS the system and then the ASUS color space. Let's talk about ASUS system first. It was designed as a way to consolidate and simplify the color management process for a feature film but it also has benefits which are far beyond that. So think of ASUS as a way of working with different formats and you would bring all the multiple different capture formats working in ASUS and put them out into the world in different various formats. This infographic may help you to understand ASUS in a simple way. Every color space comes into ASUS system then everything that comes out can go anywhere. In simple words it's an in-between color space management system. And the way they come in and out is called as input device transform which is IDT and output device transform or ODT. So you can transform any captured device into ASUS using IDT input device transform and then you can back out them in any format whether it's SRGB, Rex709 or whether it's for a film and those are output device transforms. So everything in middle you work in is in ASUS. So this is what we call the ASUS system. And now without a further ado, let's see how to set up your project for an ASUS workflow in DaVinci Resolve. Before moving further, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Okay now, let's fire up DaVinci Resolve. I have already created a project here in which I have created two bins, one is clips and the other one is TL. All our footages goes into this clip bin and all our timeline goes into the TL bin. Here you can see I have imported some clips into our project. These clips are from Addy, Red and Blackmagic Design where some of them are raw files and some of them are in QuickTime and MXF format. You can see some of them look like a log footage and some look like linear. In order to bring them together for color grading, let's set up our project for ASUS workflow. Now go to project settings and go to the color management tab. From the color science list, choose ASUS CCT as your color science. Make sure that the ASUS version is set to ASUS 1.1. Here you can see ASUS input device transform. I am going to leave it as no input device transform as we are working on different camera format. In the output device transform, I am going to set this to SRGB since I am working this for a YouTube format. You can change this to whatever color space you want depending on your output color space requirement. Now click cancel on close the window. Now in the media page, you can see that the raw footages are colored properly while the QuickTime and MXF clips still look like a log file. Since they are not in their native raw format, DaVinci Resolve couldn't understand the color space that belongs to these clips. So we have to manually apply ASUS input transforms for these clips. In order to do that, click on the clip in which the device transform to be applied and right click on your mouse. You can see a list of options. In that, go to ASUS input transform. And I know this clip is from Mary, so I am going to select Alexa for this. There you go. Now the color is properly applied. Now repeat the process for other clips which require ASUS input device transform. Now everything is ready for color grading. In Davinci Resolve, the color grading tools work very sensitive in an ASUS environment. So I am going to make a separate video on how to color correct and color grade in an ASUS environment using Davinci Resolve. To watch that, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and please let us know your opinion in the comment box below. See you in the next video.